like, I, my brain just thought short circuited. Hi gorgeous, you look beautiful today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you can hear like a raspiness in my... Hello, Sansa. <laughs> Sansa just joined us. If you can hear a raspiness in my throat, um, I think I have a cold today. I'm feeling a bit like meh. But you know, I thought I'd still want to come on and sit down and film something with you guys. And I thought because I'm not feeling great, we could just we could just do like a more relaxed video today. So I was thinking, what could we do? What could we do? And I was like, you know what? I really want to play a game. I want to play a game. A game of would you rather? And obviously I'm on my own, so I have to ask myself the questions, but I'm also gonna be asking you guys the questions. So do let me know what your answers are down in the comments below. So this is gonna be a makeup beauty version of would you rather? I have found a, a rather comprehensive list of questions from cosmopolitan.com. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna find it. And I'm gonna go through their questions. I haven't looked at them yet, so I don't know what they are and I'm gonna answer the questions you can answer and <laughs> I guess we'll just find out something about each other won't we now usually these games are played with alcohol but uh, I am being very good today because I don't feel very well also it's like half two in the afternoon and I've just got some squash but if you want to get yourself a glass of wine that's fine I'll wait you you go now go get yourself a glass of wine go get a beer I'll wait here okay Amazing. So let's just dive right in and let's play. Would you rather? Question number one. Would you rather have clear skin for life or win five million dollars but have to deal with breakouts forever? <gasps> clear skin and poor or millionaire and bad skin. Now this is hard because I I um, have acne. It doesn't look like it because I have a medicated cream from the doctor that I have to use every day and that keeps it under control. But if I did not have that cream, the acne would come back. So um, do I want the clear skin? Or do I want the money? Clear skin, money. I'm gonna go for clear skin because you know what? I I'm I'm sure. I, I'm, you can, everyone has a chance to make their own money, you know, and I, I will make my own money and I'll take the, I'll take the clear skin and I'll make my own money. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. It's five million dollars, but no, I'm going to go for the clear skin. 48% agree with me, 52% would rather have the money. Wow. <laughs> okay, question number two. Would you rather Drop your favorite limited edition palette. So what would that be? Or oh, probably one of the limited edition Charlotte Tilbury um, luxury palettes. Okay, would I rather drop that and have all the powders crumble or find out that your favorite foundation is being discontinued? My favorite foundation would be Charlotte Tilbury. So what would I rather lose? My favorite foundation or a luxury palette? I'd rather lose my foundation because there are so many other foundations out there, but those eyeshadow palettes are gorgeous. 55% said they'd rather see their favorite eyeshadow crumble. 45% said they'd rather see their favorite foundation be discontinued. Okay, so so far I'm just picking the, like, I'm picking all the least popular answers. Okay. Question number three. Would you rather have a good hair day every single day for the rest of your life or have perfect brows for all of eternity? Oh, okay, hair. I, hair every time. My I don't know how to style hair. I can do makeup. Like I'm I'm good at doing makeup. I can say that confidently. I don't know how to do my hair at all. I can barely straighten it. Okay. <laughs> so if I could wake up and have a good hair day every day, then fine. And you know what? I already have my eyebrows tattooed on, so I can just shave off my brows and it would look fine. So good hair day every time. Okay. Sixty-eight percent agreed. Yeah, good hair. Okay. 
Okay, this one just this one just has a picture. So I don't know I don't know what this one means. It just says would you rather and then there is a picture of CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser or toothbrush. I think they're saying would you rather be able to wash your face or brush your teeth? Oh wait. <laughs> you scroll down a bit and then it has the actual question. <laughs> okay. Would you rather never have to wash your face again and miraculously have clear skin or never have to brush your teeth again but m magically have zero cavities and fresh breath? Oh, okay, I'd rather never have to brush my teeth and just have magical teeth because I have always had teeth problems. These ones here, if you don't know, are fake. I, I have veneers because they just looked so like wonky and awful and I had a chip in the front my front tooth since I was a kid and um, I just had veneers put in instead so yeah I'd rather have the perfect teeth for life rather than have perfectly uh, clear skin without washing my face yeah yeah I'd rather have the I'd rather have perfect teeth okay yeah okay 62% agree with me good to know okay number five would you rather cut your own bangs for those of you who don't know that's a very like Americanized term bangs I like your fringe so would you rather cut your own bangs or have to scrape off your own gel manic manicure? Oh, I do that all the time. Like, <laughs> like my my nails break all the time. And uh, if they start breaking, I just like peel it off. That's not a problem with me. Um, yeah, I'd rather take off my own manicure. 67% of people agreed. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, number six. Would you rather accidentally burn your hair off with a curling wand or accidentally get a chemical haircut where your hair is basically fried off from bleaching your hair. So would I rather accidentally burn my hair off or bleach my hair off? Probably burn my hair off because if I, if I bleach my hair off, I could get like a chemical burn on my scalp. That's my logic. And if anyone's gonna do that, it's gonna be me because I'm accident prone, you know, like uh, dislocating my knee, uh, accidentally stabbing myself in the arm, accidentally poisoning my liver. <laughs> I mean, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to me. So yeah, I'd rather just burn a bit of my hair off with a curling wand. 88% like agree with me, see? How, how the tables have turned. Okay, question seven. Would you rather get extractions or get a bikini wax? Okay, by extractions, I'm gonna assume you mean like a tooth extraction, that's the only thing I can think of. If I'm wrong, let me know down below, but that's literally all I can think of. So would I rather get a tooth extraction or a bikini wax? Um, that seems really easy to me, just get a bikini wax. Like, it's just a wax. It's like over in a second and it doesn't hurt that much, it's fine. Um, I have had a tooth extracted before and it was not an enjoyable experience. So definitely the bikini wax. Okay, 40, 45, 54% agree with me. Yeah, okay, yeah. Would you rather magically never have to shave again or never get gray hair? <gasps> well, I've already got gray hair. I don't know if it will come up on the camp. There you go. You can see some of them in there, the grays. The grays are coming. Um, I already have quite a few gray hairs and that's e it's easy to just like get your hair dyed or bleached and cover it up. However, shaving is the bane of my existence. I have ridiculously long legs. Ready? Ridiculously long legs. And shaving them not only takes time, but as we have already discussed, I am accident prone. So I always end up accidentally nicking my legs with the razor. So yeah, I would, I yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye shaving. 70% agree with me? Mm-hmm. I think that's the highest score so far, I think. Would you rather take a lukewarm bath every day or a freezing cold shower on the reg? On the reg? On the reg? On the reg, as in on the regular. Okay, brain, come on, engage. So would I rather have a lukewarm bath every day or like a cold shower every other day? Um, a bath, because even if it's lukewarm, it's still warm and I can still, you know, laze around and have a glass of wine and read my book or watch something on my iPad. So a bath, obviously. 72% agree with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, would you rather have an endless supply of mascara or a lifetime supply of sh shampoo? Uh, well, 
I already have a shampoo and conditioner subscription from Function of Beauty, so I don't really ever have to worry about running out of shampoo. However, I always run out of mascara because I literally wear it like every day. So I'd rather have the lifetime supply of mascara, preferably something Charlotte Tilbury. 42% agree with me mascara. Okay, I find that very weird, but okay. Would you rather only be able to wear a neutral lip color, so kind of what I have on today, for the rest of your life or never be able to remove your red lipstick? That's so stupid. Like, would you rather be able to like wear a range of nude colors every day or would you rather not be able to take off one lipstick color? Obviously you're gonna pick the neutral, of I don't know. I think that question's stupid. So stupid. 84% agree with me. Yeah, obviously. Like, <laughs> okay. Come on, Cosmo. Come on. Think. Would you rather accidentally pull your eyelashes out with an eyelash kerner or accidentally burn yourself with a curling iron? Okay, I burn myself all the time with my straighteners and my curling iron. Literally all the time. And it, like, it's, Gets to the point where you're like, that doesn't even hurt anymore, I'm just used to it. However, I have accidentally pulled all of my eyelashes out, not with a lash curler. Um, I was trying to remove some lash extensions that I had, and I was like gently like uh, rubbing them with coconut oil, and I could feel them coming out, and I was like, oh, thank God. And then when I opened my eyes and looked, I'd taken all my actual eyelashes out with it, and it took like three weeks for them to grow back. So yeah, I'd rather burn myself. <laughs> 85% agree with me. Okay, good. Would you rather have a manicure that never chips <gasps> Ooh, or never have another hangnail again? I've never had a hangnail ever. So I'm gonna go for the chip-free manicure because then this could have been avoided. Look at this. This, this was from doing the laundry. I accidentally bashed my hand on the side of the washing machine and now I have this disaster here. So yeah, chip-free manicure, obviously. 62% agree with me. Would you rather be stuck with one color on your nails forever or have to paint your nails a different shade every day? Oh, I paint my nails a different shade every day. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, that's the least popular answer. Only 47% agree with me. What's wrong with having a different like nail varnish on every day? That would be so much fun. You, like, I, my brain just short-circuited because I literally cannot see the downside of having different nail and different nail varnish on every day. But okay, okay. Okay. Hi, Papa Dog. Hi. Hi, Papa Dog. Okay. Would you rather go six months without dry shampoo or a month without deodorant? <gasps> oh. I'd rather go six months without dry shampoo. I would just wash my hair instead every day um, instead of being able to use dry shampoo. However, I am a stinky, stinky person. You can probably see the stink lines coming off of me right now. I need my deodorant. I <laughs> like sometimes it'll get like midway through the day and I'm like, I think I need more deodorant. I already stink. So yeah, I'd rather go without the dry shampoo. 65% agree with me. Good to know. Good to know that we don't we don't all want to smell. <laughs> oh, okay. And the last question, number 16. Would you rather accidentally break a nail and have to file the rest down or accidentally tweeze too many brow hairs? Um no, because like this broke, but I I am not gonna file all my other nails down so that that ugly sister here feels better about herself. No, I would just rather overpluck my eyebrows. Like I say, my eyebrows are tattooed on. If you take away the hair, you've still got the brows underneath. So yeah, I'd rather overpluck my brows. That was a very unpopular opinion. A lot of people, a lot of people um, would rather would rather cut their nails down. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, I thought I was picking all of the obvious answers, but apparently not. <laughs> I'd say that was about half and half. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys learned something about me today. Hopefully you can let me know what your answers are down in the comments and I can learn something about you. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed that. That was really fun, actually. On a quick note, I just want to say, Lauren Holmes, who won the last giveaway on my channel, you have not yet claimed your prize. You have one week left to claim your prize by getting in touch with me with any of my handles, any of my social medias, they are linked down below. You have a week left to claim your prize. If you don't claim it, I'm gonna have to put it back up for grabs. So make sure, Lauren Holmes, that you do claim your prize. I really don't want to have to uh, 
give it away, but I, I will if you don't get in touch, so make sure you do, okay? Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I had fun. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. I love your guts. And bye. <laughs> bye. Nice.